Okay, so I built another Cinema up here. This is the Mega B uh, V2 frame. I'm not really sure if this is being sold still or not, but I wanted to test some parts. Uh, the new T motor F1507, 3800 kV motor, and their new 3 inch prop. We'll talk about that here in this video. I uh, also put in the new Hi Fi I, was it the Hi Fi on RC, I think it's called. It's a very strange uh, name. There's a stack in here. Uh, 20 by 20. Um, you know, what's funny is the ESC says it's a 32 bit ESC, but it's actually the LHL SESC. And this one here has a separate Bluetooth radio that you can solder onto your uh, one of the UARTs so that you can control the flight controller via the SpeedyB app uh, via Bluetooth. So that's um, one of the reasons why that stack went into this frame because the, see the USB port is not very accessible in these Cinebook type frames. So that's why that Bluetooth radio is in there. And then in the back here, this is analog by the way, I have the uh, Tiny Tank from Rush FPV and XM Plus receiver in the back here using the new Fox here Micro Lollipop in the back. And then the camera is the Cadex Rotel uh, micro camera, 19 millimeters. Pretty standard stuff here. Um, here's a look at the, the bottom of the frame. And this is, you know, uh, I think I built this fairly light and if you compare the weight of this to say like the Taycan, let's see here, this is coming in at 200, let's see here, 241 grams. And I think the Taycan was around 300 grams. Of course, this has the GoPro mount on there already. And then I flew this with the uh, Hero 6. So I'll throw that on there and this uh, Kodar 4 cell 850. This was the flying weight at 456 grams. Well, let's take a look at this motor. I posted some of these photos up on my Instagram. And this is a 1507 motor with a T-style mounting for the prop, but it's not a standard T-style mount. Uh, it's actually proprietary. Only this motor, as far as I know, has this mounting pattern. And I'm not sure why they, they did that. I think maybe it's because they wanted to limit this motor to Cinewhips only. They do call this a Cinewhip motor. It's comes in two KVs, uh, 15, uh, 3800. I think the other one is like a 2600. I can't remember. I'll put it down in the description. You can see the uh, link to the to the, um, the product. And they just come in two different KVs, 4S and a 6S. Now, I heard that some people, when the 6S motor, was the motor was running really, really hot. It wasn't running hot for me on 4S. Of course, I'm not going to be running a 3800 KV motor on 6S. That'd be kind of crazy. But um, yeah. Um, it's a nice motor. I mean, it's a T motor. You got a little lip here to prevent the motor wire from rubbing against the bell. Um, nice, nice looking windings and magnets. It's a solid motor around, all around. It's just that it's got this proprietary mounting for their props. And these are the only props that work with this motor. So this is a, kind of a, a downside. Not exactly sure why they did that. And they call this the T76 Cinewhip motor and it has this mounting pattern for this prop. Oh, this prop only works with this motor and no other props work with this motor and, and this motor does not work with any other props. So these two basically go together. So there's a quick look at the prop. It looks very similar to the gem fan. Uh, I think the 75 millimeter prop and um, you know, it's bull nosed on the end there. Very similar shape. Yeah, and possibly they made it a little bit bigger than the jump pack. It's 76 millimeters versus 75 millimeters because if you look at the way it is lined up in the duct there, it's super close to the edge. So maybe a one millimeter from the end of the prop to the duct. So supposedly the closer the end of the prop is to the duct, you get more efficiency and more power. Um, hard to say. Uh, I would say maybe. Um, I, you know, honestly, I couldn't really tell that much of a difference. It did sound pretty clean in terms of the pit tune and the way the air sounded coming out of the, the duct here. So that's something to note. Uh, it's possible that when the prop is close to the end of the duct, you get less noise. It did seem a little bit less noisy, but it was, again, still pretty loud on the setup and standard, you know, 4S uh, Cinewhip standard setup. All right, so this is how much the prop weighs by itself to about 1.9 grams and 
And the weight of four props is eight grams. And right, here's the weight of the motor by itself, coming in at 14 and a half grams. So in terms of the weight savings, the difference between that and a standard 1507 with a like a five millimeter shaft and a standard five millimeter prop, it's like about a gram, gram and a half, maybe two grams, depending upon which motor you're comparing this to, because not every 1507 motor weighs the same. So you, it is a little bit of a weight reduction in terms of the motor. And of course, over four, you know, say if it's, say it's a two gram difference per motor, that's an eight gram difference overall. So if you are trying to build lighter, then this might be a motor you won't want to consider. This is going to be lighter than some of the other standard uh, motors with the five millimeter shaft. But then again, you're limiting yourself to this prop. So you're going to have to really like this prop to go with this motor. Because if you go with the other motors, obviously we'll have a lot wider variety of props to choose from. Okay, so before I get into the flight footage, I do want to ask you guys a question of how much interest there would be in terms of doing sort of a comparison of the noise level of various Cinewhoops. And more importantly, what, what method of uh, measuring that noise level would be. Because I have been looking on Amazon for certain like um, sound meters to, to, to measure the, the loudness of certain you know sounds and I can't really figure out what's good so if you have any suggestions on which ones might be good I was also considering maybe just using like an Android app and you know if I if I measure all of the Cinewhoops and their noise levels on the same app you at least get a relative measurement and versus just an absolute measurement of what the sound level is so I'm not sure if that's all that useful or not but let me know if, if that's a video that you guys might be interested in. Cause like, I'm thinking, uh, you know, certain Cinewhoops are gonna be louder than others. Three inch versus two and a half inch. Also the voltage that you're running it at, four S versus three S, et cetera. So those are the kind of things I'm kind of, I want to investigate, but do let me know down in the comments if that's something that might interest you and kind of want to gauge what the interest level is for something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, uh, fly closer so you guys can hear what the props sound like and not going to do too much here just to enjoy I mean, you guys all know what the Cine Cinewhoop platform looks like and we'll have some uh, GoPro footage as well So pretty loud, typical Cinewhoop noise. The, there's no special tuning here. I've just got uh, Betaflight uh, 422. Um, I probably should tune this a little bit, but there's a little bit of wind and it's not moving around much. So Maybe the props being really close to the edge of the duck gives a little bit more stability. But yeah, it's pretty loud. At least in the uh, analog video footage I'm looking at, it looks fairly stable. I'm sure the GoPro footage is going to look really nice. I got pushed around right at the end of there trying to go through that gap. The Cinewhoops don't like wind. There's, you see the wind pushing the leaves around on the tree. These pops don't sound all of that different from say like the gem fans. 
the, uh, I think it's called the 75 millimeter whoop duck prop. Fly a little bit more aggressively. No prop wash out. Hmm, that's impressive. Like all oh, the uh, 2203 motors are the way to go, but these 1507s are not bad either. Maybe even like the Beta FPV, the 2004 motors could be pretty good too. I think a lot of motors would work well if you're not really flying too aggressively. I feel like I have pretty decent control on the 1507. Yeah, the battery's dead. I know what you guys think. 